Houston. College basketball tonight. Yes, NIT. St. John's doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. Could be two years in a row for the Big East, guys. It is the final of the NIT tournament tonight. The nation's oldest college basketball tournament at Madison Square Garden. Lou Karnaseka's ball club is looking pretty good right now, as is Jason Buchanan, the former Nottingham. Look at him throw that up after he looked like he didn't have it. Millikan's rolling gray, though, with a nice move to the hoop, and folks were tied at 25. But the Redmen go on a run. Here's Buchanan going coast to coast. He had 14 points in the first half. Now, near the end of the half, Matt Bruss throws up the brick. Jason Williams rebounds. It's 34-28 at the break. Watch Buchanan, though. Steele takes it down, dribbles behind the back, then the no-look pass to Williams, and right now it's 65-54, under two minutes to go. St. John's leading in that NIT final. Meantime, the Michigan Wolverines left Ann Arbor tonight for Seattle. Now, we will tell you that Michigan, of course, will take on Big Ten rival Illinois in the second Final Four semifinal game Saturday night. The Illini beat Michigan twice during the season. They're favored by a point and a half. The earlier game Saturday has Duke favored by five over Seton Hall. That game will tip off about 548. You'll be able to see both games live, as they say, right here on TV5 and CBS. Well, there have been a lot of rumors out of Indiana this past season that star guard Jay Edwards didn't get along very well with IU head coach Bobby Knight. And now looks like they were true as the Big Ten's Player of the Year has decided to leave school two years early and make himself eligible for the NBA draft that will be held June 27th in New York City. Edwards is only the second player to leave IU before graduating since Knight took over the program back in the early 70s. Who was the other one, Lynn? Isaiah Thomas. Underclassmen, which of course include Derek Coleman, have until May 13th to announce whether they intend to give up their college eligibility and turn professional. Speaking of where Jay Edwards hopes to play next season, let's check out tonight's NBA scores. It was Boston over Portland, Atlanta stops Washington, Indiana beats Miami, Chicago by four over Milwaukee, and Detroit right now leads Utah. Well, when the SU lacrosse team takes the field at Brown this Saturday, it'll be the fifth road game of the season for the Orangemen, and it's only the team's sixth game. It's also the fourth game of the year for the Orangemen on grass. Last year, SU played all of their games, of course, on artificial turf, but the real stuff hasn't caused any problems so far. We prepared for it in our spring trip. We, we didn't go to Fort Lauderdale. Uh, we went down and, and toughed it out on some uh, real tough grass fields in the Baltimore area, and uh, now we're, we're ready to play, I think, and uh, we played pretty well on grass. After Saturday's game, the Orangemen play four of their last six games at home. Let's check the lacrosse scoreboard for you. Cornell, the Big Red, pick up their 500th victory tonight as they are this afternoon as they beat UMass, Ithaca over Lemoyne, and Hobart dumps Alfred. This is the last week of the NHL's regular season, and a number of teams still jockeying for playoff position. Rangers tonight were trying to move into the second place in the Patrick Division. It didn't happen, folks. A pretty good game. There is the traditional octopus in the Motor City. Why it's traditional? No idea, folks. Chris Nyland, get a couple calls on that. Chris Nyland with a slap shot as he beats Steph in the assist of James Patrick. Then Detroit will counter as Dave Barr finds teammate Peter Klima right there. All alone as he beats Johnny Van Beesbrook. It was 2-1 to one wings in the third period. Ranger defenseman Brian Leach sets the record for most goals scored in a season by a rookie defenseman, but Detroit wins it. They clinched their second straight Norris. That final was 4-3. Elsewhere on the ice, Islanders over Jersey in OT. Toronto beats Minnesota, and Chicago right now leads Quebec 3-1. That in the third. Baseball news, the California Angels announced today that Jim Abbott, the left-handed pitcher who was born without a right hand, has made that team on the field tonight. The Yankees hosted the Braves in Fort Lauderdale. Same story for the New Yorkers as yesterday. This is Ken Phelps going deep off Brave starter John Smoltz to a right field that's gone for a home run. But in the next inning, Atlanta retakes the lead. Gerald Perry a single to left. This will score Lonnie Smith. It's 2-1 to one Braves. Then Atlanta puts the game on ice in the sixth as a former Tiger Daryl Evans connects right here off Rich Dotson. Yanks, Bob, don't have any pitching. And it uh, was a 6-2 Final score, Atlanta over the Yanks. There we have it. I hope I'm wrong, but I think it's going to be a long season. I think it's a long Yanks. season already. <laughs> well, at least it doesn't have Billy Martin to kick around anymore. <laughs> yes, that's true. Have some Academy Award results right. that have come in. A few, anyway. Results from the Academy Awards. Best Supporting Actress, Gina Davis, for The Accidental Tourist. And Kevin Klein, the Best Supporting Actor for A Fish Called Wanda. Best Actor, Best Actress, and Best Picture are yet to be announced. And uh, David Cunningham, the CBS reviewer, Dennis Cunningham. A David Cunningham, Dennis Cunningham. Dennis That's Cunningham. right. Okay, anyway, <laughs> that dude down there in New York. He says that uh, the best supporting actress was to be Martin Landau. 
Actress? Phil Fe Wait, actor. Actor, actor. <laughs> He's been on vacation. Ooh. Why don't I just spend a long honeymoon, this. hasn't Anyway, it? what I was going to say is <laughs> nothing he productive came true, so uh, I think Dennis will probably show up in just his tie tomorrow night without his shirt. <laughs> I think he's keeping his record intact. If I had a weather Oscar, I'd give it to Marty. Oh. I, I don't have anything. I'm sorry. I feel very badly. Go ahead. With, how about uh, best special effects? <laughs> special effects. <laughs> Rainy day tomorrow. Windshield wipers working overtime. Carry an umbrella high around 35 as you head to work. <clears throat> I Say guess night, that's Lynn. our report, yes. Uh, that's our report. I'm Lynn Houston. I'm Bob Kirk. For all of us who work the late night news watch here at your news center, good night. Good night. of the people who bought cars before visiting a Nissan.